Hi guys, it's Murray from Muzz IT here, and today we are going to be doing a video on the Razer Orb Weaver Mechanical Gaming Keypad. So here we have the Razer Orb Weaver. Now this is a mechanical gaming keypad. Uh, it's not bad actually. Play four or five hours of Call of Duty on it, some Warframe, a few other games. Not bad at all. It's designed to replace your keyboard. Uh, generally going from the tilt tab caps lock shift through to the 4R FV keys, which are the standard map key. So if you use your standard WASD for gaming, this will fit in perfectly. It has 20 programmable keys up the top here. It has an eight-way directional thumb button, along with two other thumb buttons used for space, and the other button's just programmable. You can use it for whatever you want to use it for. Uh, it's adjustable, so it's designed to fit small and large hands. You can adjust the base to make it longer. You can tilt the wrist rest to different angles depending on where you want your wrist to sit and you can adjust where the thumb buttons are as well this can slide in and out too so if you've got big hands like I do you can you can stretch it out a bit and really give yourself a decent amount of space or you can if you've got small hands you can put it all in nicely and away you go now I did play Call of Duty for about four or five hours with this it took a while to get used to it and my wrist was a bit sore for a little while because it's a completely different angle to my keyboard but hey, it's, it's relatively good for what it does. It's using uh, Cherry MX Blue switches, so as you can tell, it's quite clicky. And one thing I did notice is with the software, it did take me a while to remap the keys, because I'm not a standard WASD user, I'm, I use different keys. So for me, one thing that I didn't like too much was the far left keys, which you'd usually use your pinky for, your tilt, tab, shift, caps lock and stuff are offset down slightly so that made it harder for me to reach my crouch and sprint keys on the on the keypad as well uh, other than that the overall feel of the keypad is very good it's got a nice soft rubber grip there a nice rubberized grip for your palm of your hand as well and it is very easy to reach all of the keys on there and it does have arrow keys on your standard what would be your standard WASD keys as well so overall it's, it's pretty good. Now the software that you use is the Razer Synapse software and that gives you four different adjustable backlights from off to low, medium, bright. It also has a pulse effect as well which is really good. Um, weird sometimes, takes a bit of getting used to but it is good. Um, the fact that it's completely programmable is really good for MMOs and other games like that as well. And yeah, will it replace my keyboard? I'm not sure. Probably not. I'm, I'm a fan of a nice mechanical gaming keyboard. I've got the Logitech G710 Plus there, so we'll see how we go. But yeah, over and all, it's a good keypad. It's, it's pretty basic. It does what it does well. I know there are quite a few keypad pro, um, products like this out there on the market. So this one I've, I've had about a week to play around with, and I, I do like it, but I don't think it's going to replace my keyboard. I do definitely like the fact that it's adjustable. Uh, the other thing is it has a decent length on the cable. I think we've got one and a half meters there. About the same length as your average keyboard cable. Really handy. Um, we'll just go through some of those lighting effects now too. So we've got small, uh, off, dim, normal, and bright. So as you can see, the keys are very bright on there, so that is it is really good. It's nice to use at night actually when the lights are off. It's really easy to see. Um, I found myself in certain games using the um, thumbstick to walk around rather than using the forward, back, left, and right keys. But other than that, I I just use it normally. Um, the space where your space bar is or your thumb key for jump is slightly lower than normal, and I found myself having to bend my wrist in a weird angle to reach it, which made it harder to use some of the other keys. But all in all, it was, I was very, very happy with it. I'm quite satisfied. But I, it's not going to replace the uh, my, my keyboard for gaming. Definitely not. So yeah, this is our review of the Razer Orb Weaver. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to mash those like and dislike buttons. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Or you can hit us up on Twitter at Muzz underscore IT. Or on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash IT. 
Please remember to subscribe for more videos and thanks for watching.